uh, we're pleased that you selected our paper called Campothecan Targets Warner Protein Mechanisms and Relevance in Clinical Breast Cancer for your cover. And uh, we, the first author is uh, Raghavendra Shamana. And it's a collaboration between our group and the group of Madhu Sudan in, uh, uh, in, the, in the UK. And we've worked together on this project for a while. We're trying to connect the clinical perspectives of breast cancer with the uh, expression patterns and function of the Warner protein. And in my lab, we've worked with Warner protein for a long period of time. It is defective in uh, a premature aging disease called Warner syndrome. By premature, I mean accelerated aging. It's a condition where the patients appear much older than they actually are. And it's actually an interesting, amazing number of features that you see in Werner syndrome that resemble what you see much later in the normal aging process. So Werner's syndrome remarkably reflects normal aging, but just at a much earlier stage. This happens when the patients are in their 20s and then they fast uh, become very aged. So we have uh, been interested in studying Warner protein because we think that this condition is, can, can uh, give us insight into what happens in normal aging. And we have, together with many other investigators, found that it is, Warner's protein is very important in what we call genomic stability. So it's maintenance of the DNA. The DNA is very susceptible to damage coming from everywhere, the environment and from the, from the cellular metabolism. And this damage leads to a lot of problems that in fact could very well underlie much of what we see in the aging process. So Werner's role is to help prevent that this help get this damage repaired in the DNA very efficiently. And if Warner's protein is not there, you don't, you have a lot of this damage accumulating and a lot of problems occur in the cells. So for a long time, we've studied this process, the function of Warner's protein and the, its role in this DNA maintenance, DNA repair process. And um, we find that it interacts with other proteins, it has important critical functions in the DNA repair. Now at the same time, Warner's protein has been known for a while to be a tumor suppressor protein, meaning that if you don't have Warner's protein, you're more susceptible to cancers. We know that from humans, we know that from other studies that in, in, in awareness it has a protective function against cancers. So we have then been working with some colleagues in the United Kingdom who have assembled one of the biggest clinical studies on breast cancer in the world and they have been interested in how we could better understand why some breast cancers become particularly malignant and others not so much. So they are studying how these proteins that are involved in DNA maintenance, how they're expressed, how they function in clinical breast cancer and in, the, in very malignant tumors. So we first found with that group that the expression patterns of Warner uh, relate to the breast cancer development. So you can correlate how much Warner function there is to the degree of malignancy in the tumor. And then in addition, we so we described this in this paper for the first time, there's such a connection between Warner uh, levels, Warner protein, and uh, the breast cancer development. And the breast cancers were analyzed with very many uh, details that all describe the degree of malignancy in the breast cancers. And there are breast cancers that are hormone sensitive and not hormone sensitive and, and many, many aspects. 
So then we found in our cellular work in the laboratory that more of our protein is degraded in cells when they're treated with campothecan, and campothecan is a anti-cancer drug that's used in some form of cancers. It's also called a topoisomerase 1 inhibitor. And so this was a unique thing that Werner particularly gets degraded. And so we connected this cellular finding with the clinical findings. And we, in addition, in this paper, have looked at um, a battery of cell lines uh, that are uh, that are found in the National Cancer Institute, where they look at these cell lines and the sus sensitivity of cell lines to drugs, and we looked at cell lines and their sensitivity to campothecan and their expression of water. And kind of putting it all together, we think that there is an interesting connection here that when we uh, have um, malignant cancers, we could potentially treat them with campothecan and then degrade Warner's protein as one way of making cells uh, less able to repair DNA damage and therefore treatment of uh, cells with drugs that damage DNA would be more effective under these conditions. And so in breast cancer at this point, um, campothecans are not currently used, but it's, it's in, the, in the working. There are plans to use campothecan in the future. And we may have here found a marker for whether individual patients would be sensitive to such treatment by looking at the degradation of Warner protein in the cells. So it thus represents a, a, a step and further understanding of this Warner protein and how it functions in protection against aging and cancer, and it also represents uh, a possible step towards developing uh, a biomarker for individual treatment of breast cancer. Our hope is that that can be further explored.